Hey everyone, Shemim here, and welcome back to our second episode of the Sunderland Return to Glory, or the Mackham Makeover here on FIFA 20 Career Mode. Now, if you've not seen our career modes before, essentially what I've been doing this year is doing a manager-style career mode. So we're doing the transfers, we're doing the training, we're sorting the team, but we're not actually playing the games, we're simming the games. This allows us to get through a season once every four videos, so it really does give a speedier way of getting through a career mode. Today is our first match in this career mode. As you can see, uh, we made some great transfers last episode. If you've not seen the last episode, I'd suggest checking that out first. But all we did in that episode was surely just transfers and setup. As you can see, we brought in uh, Joshua Vajnaman at left back, Ethan Ampadu at centre back, got Carbonero at left mid, De La Vega at right mid, then on the bench we also have Billy Gilmore, Tahif Chong, and Sikan as well we brought in. So... A pretty damn good transfer window, to be honest. It's not over yet, of course. The transfer window still has a month remaining. But let's get into our first game of the season against Oxford. We finished second in the preseason tournament as well. Come on, let's get a win in this. Come on. There we go. 1-0 victory goal from Lafferty in the opening game of the season. Fantastic. Just what we wanted. A victory to start things off well. Let's keep pushing forward. Of course, we've got three youth scouts out as well at the moment. They're only low-level youth scouts, so I'm not expecting to bring back the most amazing young players. But you never know our luck. We might get some good ones. We have a transfer offer for Luke O'Neill. You know what? Oh, it's a... Um, issue being that I don't know if we have any of the right backs we can bring in. I don't know if there's any right backs on this list, is there? There's Frimpong, but he's just joined the club, so he doesn't want to leave. Um, Brandon Williams can play there. Is there anyone else who can play right back? I think we're going to have to reject this, aren't we? we haven't got anyone else who can sort of play in that position um no we haven't got any more right backs on our transfer list here so for now yeah i think for now we're gonna have to reject that uh, okay we'll leave that for now then and uh, maybe we can get some good ones from the academy uh, either way it's switch in our second game of the season we started off with a win can we get a second one no we got a loss okay that's not ideal. We lost 1-0. And they missed a penalty in the 87th minute as well. We do need to get promoted this season to uh, to meet our criteria. Um, that's disappointing, though. We also got the first round of the EFL Cup. We're going to stick with the same team, I think, for now. Because we haven't really got a lot of different players we can use. So we'll stick with the same team for now uh, against Coventry. It's going to be another tricky game. It might be worth us getting out of this competition, to be honest. We do get a 3-1 win. First two goals of his career for Carbonero and one for Lafferty as well. It's good for Carbonero. I think the more goals they score, obviously the higher their ratings are going to be come next season. As we get Portsmouth in the next game. The game's going to be thick and fast already, aren't they? Um, how's our team looking? Still pretty much full power at this point in time. Of course, I just want to keep playing the young players as much as I possibly can because those are the ones who are going to really start to ramp up in quality very, very quickly with the more game time they get. It's a 1-1 one, one draw. The goal came from Scoen. O'Neill's picked up a knock, which is not ideal because, like we've already discussed, we don't have any of the right-backs. Do you reckon... Um, well, let's have a look at the... Let's have a look at the old scouts first because you never know. We might get something back here that we can utilise straight away. Um, two players. You brought back two players. And both of them are... Yeah. Well, keep scouting this guy more, I suppose. Um, come on, bring back something good. Right, four players from you. And they're all pants. They're all absolute pants. Just I'll keep them on there to keep scouting, you never know. And from England... Right, okay, this is better. We've got a goalkeeper, Patrick Morris, who's got a good potential. And we've also got Brandon King. I'll take you up as well, my friend. Right, and we'll keep scouting the other guy, even though he's not going to be good enough. So at least England brought us back some good stuff. So it looks like we've got them. So Brandon King is a striker. 
And we've got Patrick Morris, who's a goalkeeper. Brandon King. Oh, them stats are terrible. Okay, we'll keep these two in here for now, then. So, right back. We've got a transfer budget of 1.3 million as well, still. Um... Do we have any right backs on this list? No. Why th Why does the game just like start scouting the weirdest players for you? Oh look, we can buy a Bamiyang and we can buy Anthony Martial if we get enough money together. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Maybe... I mean, I like Brandon Williams and I am tempted to go for him. S two million quid. We haven't got two million quid, that's the problem. Could I loan him? That's not a bad shout, actually. They might let us loan him for the season. I don't often do loans on this game, but uh, it, it could be a real useful... Uh, let's do a one-year loan. Excellent. We're happy to let him go out. Okay. 50-50 wage split. And can I get where we're doing less? 25-75. You play slightly more. 50. Okay, we'll do 50 50. Okay. That's done then, isn't it? Yeah. We've got that coming in. That's actually really good for us. I mean, can we, like, utilize this more? With some of these players. I'm just thinking about Mason Greenwood now as well, you know? That's all I'm thinking about. Um, Mason Greenwood. We don't really need that position, do we really, I suppose? I will leave it there for now, then. I think that's a, a good deal for us if that goes through. Because we do need that extra right back and left back in the team. Uh, we need it. Hopefully, we can. Oh, we haven't got him in time for the Rochdale game, then, have we? Um, so we need to take him out of the team, but we haven't got anyone who can play. Are you, can either of you two play right back? You can't. You'll have to go in, though, mate. You'll have to go into the team. Uh, Gooch, you can't play right back, can you? No. Okay. Um, uh, Hume's out injured as well, so we're really low on defenders at this point in time. Uh, let's bring Dobson onto the bench because he's the highest rated, I suppose. That's the only reason why. Hopefully we can get Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams will be straight in our first team. He'll be one of our main players. So, All right against Rochdale, we're currently four points from three games. It's not the best start to the season. Come on, come on! Yes, a two-nil victory. Goals for Lafferty and for Power. We have the power. Uh, let's keep pushing for then. AFC Wimbledon coming up next. Yes, there we go. Brandon Williams is in. Uh, Carl Lafferty's out for seven days. That's not ideal. Um, okay, so Brandon Williams is going to come straight in at right back. Gilmore's unhappy about the lack of game time already. Uh, so let's bring you in then against uh, in place of power. And Sikan is going to have to come in as well then in the place of Lafferty for a game. Uh, it's probably a bit risky. I mean, Sikhan probably shouldn't be the first choice to come in for this game. It should be somebody else. But at the same time, you know, it is... we've got to try and beef, beef these players up as quickly as we can, haven't we, really, to, to try and get the best out of them. All right, AFC Wimbledon incoming. Come on, guys. Brandon Williams on his debut. Sikhan with his first start for the club. Billy Gilmore's first start for the club as well. It's a 3-0 victory. Goals from all of the front three. De La Vega, Sikan, and Carbonero. Lovely jubbly. Exactly what we wanted. Did Carbonero go up one? No, he's still in 67, isn't he? Manchester United is our next game. Manchester United. Really? You're just going to drop my United on, on us. That's, that's just... Uh. Well, let's just go with the same team. I'm surprised Williams can play, actually. I thought he would be um, cup tie for this, but it's a 3 0 loss. They played their strongest team, didn't they, more or less? Well, it's us out of the Carabao Cup, anyway. That's uh, one less thing to worry about. Next up, Peterborough in the league. 
before we start the FA Cup. Um, right, so let's get this back going. So Lafferty into here. Dobson comes off. But O'Neill on the bench because he can play centre mid as well, which is nice. Um, anyone else needs to come on? Lead better? No, I think that's probably fine, isn't it? Um, is Trom getting much football here? He should be. Chong's got up a point already. He was um, he was 65. Now he's 66. We'll put him in for this game. So we get. So we want him to. Like I said, we want them to start leveling up as quickly as possible. And the younger players should be the ones with, with a high potential that are going to level up pretty quickly. I put Lafferty on the bench. I didn't put him back in the pitch, did I? Doesn't matter though, 1-0 victory goal from Sikan again. Nice. Go on, Sikan. And this is the last day of the transfer window. I don't think there'll be much for us unless a big deal comes in for somebody we have. Like Duncan Watmore. Um, we'll accept that. And Gooch will accept that. Two players we're not using. Okay. Hmm. 1.3 million. 1.3 freaking million. Um, I reckon we can actually buy somebody else now then. If we're going to be selling those players. Who have we got then? So there's Rainer we can get on a free on a 1.3 million. Um, 1.1 for Van der Voort, goalkeeper. Rutter is quite cheap. We've already got some goal. We've already got some strikers, haven't we? Um, is this guy who can play Adeyemi could be a really good option actually because he can play left mid, right mid, and striker. Adeyemi's a good shout. Um, Caicedo, 1.6 million. This guy's 1.8 million. It's still Ferreira. I like the idea of Ferreira. Centre mid, cam and strike. So he could actually play centre mid. But again, it's an expensive deal, isn't it? Doku as well. So it's Ferreira or Adeyemi. I feel like Adeyemi is the one that I can afford at this point in time. So I'm going to give it a punt. I'm going to give it a punt. Be a really good player to have on the bench. Can play across all those front three roles. We haven't got enough money to buy him. I've just messed this up, haven't I? I've just completely messed this up. Um, I can't imagine you're going to want Dobson, are you? No. Um, Fullback, winger or midfielder? You're not interested in max power, are you, by any chance? You are interested in max power. Okay. Okay, I mean, this is not what I wanted to do, to be honest with you. Um, means we are going to have to try and get a centre midfielder. Oh, Billy Gilmore can play as a first team player then, I suppose, can't he? Uh, Adeyemi, 800k. 1% sell on fee. We'll take that. It's only 1%. We sell him for a million, you get 10k. This could be a very good deal. Like I said, everyone on this list has a potential of over 85, so this is a really, really good deal for us, I think. 800k for a cracking young player. He wants to be important. Which is going to make things tricky because we've already got a few important players. But I dare say he'll get a lot of first team football anyway. And there we go. Right, so he's across the line. I mean, he could play as a striker for us, couldn't he? Let's have a look and see what we've got now. So, we've got 491k left to spend until the next set of transfers come in. Um, okay, so you're off the bench. We've got Lafferty. Maybe we start with Adeyemi as a striker then. Maybe we go with a little bit of that with those three. We've got Lafferty on the bench, Carbonero on the bench. Bring Carbonero back onto the pitch. Okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that at this point in time. Uh, Adeyemi should be a good striker for us. He's not quite as highly rated as Lafferty. But with Lafferty being 
31 years of age, he's going to have to uh, accept that he's not going to be first choice anymore. Let's see if we get any more money in, because if we do, then we can invest elsewhere. I'd like to get, like I said, the um, Ferreira, but that's going to be another chunk of money. Have those transfers gone through yet? A bit worried of recent speculation surrounding me. I don't really care, mate, to be honest. You're not in my thoughts for the future, so I'm not really that bothered about you. <coughs> so, 400k. Or nearly 500k in the bank. Right, there's some news. Is that the sales gone through? Yes. So, Gooch has been sold. Been given a million. Swindon Town want to take Barley Mumba on a loan for a season. You can take him because his rating is terrible at this point in time. So, where does that leave us now? It leaves us with... 1.47 million and if I want to get well Camavinga still not available um, any centre mids at all Rimpom no Pellegri's a striker Casado no Ferreira is the one that I want, but he's 2.2 million the lowest. Unless I can offer a player in exchange. Let's go for it. If I can get Ferreira over the line, I'll be a very, very happy man. He can play centre midfield for us. And we're going to have to do a tra player trade for him, though, aren't we? Um, hopefully, they'll be willing to take one of our players. Would you take Will Grigg? You will, but you still want 1.6 million for him. Um, I'm willing to offer you 1.1. It's still more money than I've got to spend, isn't it? Can I even offer that? I can't. Okay, I do have that much money, yeah. They'll take 1.1, but they want 3% sell on. Could I remove that? Then what do they want? Ooh, 1.1 million. Okay. That's a really good deal for us, this is. Another cracking player. I mean, we're not playing him in his first position. It'll be his second choice position at centre mid. But still, a very, very useful player. Again, with another good potential. So, this is good. This is good, actually. This has been a very good deadline day for us. Two massive, massive deals. Over the line, hopefully. As long as we can get this contract sorted. He wants me to guess his blubbing wages. Uh, let's give him 2,500 and just be done with it because we have a lot of wage budget remaining. He'll take it. Of course he will. So that's us done now, then, I think, money-wise. That is us done. Um, so it means that we will be bringing probably Gilmore onto the bench. And then we will be playing Ferreira from centre mid. There he is. Boom. Which he can play centre mid. Yep, striker, centre mid and cam. Excellent. Maybe I could even change formation at some point. That might actually be an option, to be honest. Because Gilmore can play centre mid and cam. Uh, you're more of a CDM. Oh, that's actually not a bad formation then, is it? Having, three, having two at the back. A normal centre back pairing. And then maybe dropping Skoen back as a CDM. Then having Gilmore and Ferreira slightly further forward as cams. Yeah, okay. Well, that's an option I'll have to look at in between the next two videos, I think. We'll keep with this for now. It's looking pretty damn strong. Let's get through to the end of the transfer window. We've sold another player, but I don't think it's as much money, so it's not really a big deal for us. We'll save that money for any potential youth players and so forth. And uh, it's going to be a new month next month, so we can... Uh, of course, it's a new month. It's always a new month next month, isn't it? Uh, Mumbo's gone. We've got a loan offer for Embleton. Again, we'll accept that because he's not going to get any football with us this season. Watmore has been sold for 800k. We don't need him because we've got better players now in the squad. And now it means we can sort of just hold on to our money and wait till January and see if anything does pop up that's interesting. There we go, end of the transfer window here in our first season of Sunderland. And let's have a look and see what is happening behind the scenes. Maguire is disappointed not to have played. Squad rotation is important. 
Okay, he's, that seemed to work on him. Um, okay, uh, we've got the Manager of the Month award. God knows how. Scout has returned. Okay. So this is our youngster who is going to be Tiago Couto. So he's a scout of future stars. So he should be very, very good. Do we just take him straight up? Um, yeah. Let's just take him straight up. We know he's got a great potential because he's come through that. Uh, well, we've completed that as well, which is great. Uh, transfer off for Maguire. It's too late now, isn't it, really? Um, you've scout monthly report. I didn't even look at that, did I? Let's have a look at it now, then. So, 64 to 84. So, you're gone, then, mate. Uh, 69 to 89. You're not very good, either, really, are you? Um, so, let's get training. Now, we want to get Kuto up as quickly as we can, so he's going to be good enough to start playing games for us. Um, where is he? There he is. So, we want to make him probably an all-round midfielder. So let's give him some attacking scenarios. Let's also give him some defensive scenarios as well to work through. And um, where are you then? Um, there we go. Depth defensive scenarios. Um, let's also give him a little bit of yeah, dribbling, agility, ball control. Um, yeah, let's do that one. Sprint speed and agility in that as well. Okay, really giving this guy some massive, massive training, aren't we? We want to try and get him up to a level where he's going to be strong enough to play first team then, don't we? And probably the same with Gilmore. We could probably do a boost in him up a little bit as well. Again, we'll go adept attacking scenarios because we do want to start playing him a little bit further forward if we can. I know training is not ideal. I don't like to train very often, but I think we just need to get a few players boosted up quickly to a level where they're a bit more useful. Okay, there we go. So Kuto uh, gets some good level up, but not uh, enough to get up a stat point yet. Transfer offer for Kimpioka. Yes, go get it, get out of, get out of here. Maguire. Um, 550k. We're gonna accept that as well because we don't need him. And it means we'll have a bit more money to spend in January, I suppose. Now, Lincoln in the first round of the leasing trophy competition. I'm quite happy with this team at this point in time. It looks pretty good. Um, De La Vega's up to a 71 already. Fantastic. Ampadu's gone up to a 68 as well. Ferreira's up to a 69. Adeyemi's gone up to a 68. So we've had quite a few stat upgrades this month already, which is lovely jubbly. Let's get in then. We've got Adeyemi and Ferreira's debuts for the club. And it's a 2-0 victory. Uh, Ferreira getting a goal on his debut. Lovely jubbly. Exactly what we want to be seeing. So next up, we've got Burton Albion in the league. Um, we've got our youth scouts. Should be coming back any day now as well. Fix the problem ourselves. What is the problem? Flanagan's away in international duty. Really? Why did you become a player that gets international duty? And Lafferty's away in international duty. Well, that is rather annoying, isn't it? Okay, well... Let's do that and that then. Um, let's take Maguire off the bench and bring on Kuto. Never know, he might get some first-team football. Um, that, leaves the, that means that Chong is the only winger available off the bench, so hopefully that means he get more football. Because we need him to level up quickly as well. Right, home against Burton Albion. Come on, lads. Let's get a win. 2-1. Lovely. Ferreira again with another goal. And De La Vega with one as well. Lovely. Let's get the training underway. There we go. Vajnaman gets up to a 67. Kuto... Up to a 52. We need to get him to a 60, Kuto. Then we can see what his actual potential is going to be. Maguire's been sold. That obviously won't go ahead until the next window. Um, so the international break is underway now. Let's have a look and see. Is this our transfers? No, it's not, is it? Maguire. Found all I can find. I thought that was going to be our youth scout coming back, but it's not. 
Right, so... Is the international break finished now? If it is, then we can get... Yes, it is. We can get Lafferty back on the bench in place of McNulty. Um, and... Flanagan back on the bench in place of Quack. And then... Lynch is 31. How old is Flanagan? 27. So Flanagan is a player that will still probably move forward stat-wise, whereas Lynch probably won't at his age. Right, so next up then is a game against Brentford, I think that is. It's Accrington Stanley. Who are they? Right, they've uh, not won in their last three. Hopefully we can get a victory in this one then. We can 3-1 goals from Vajnaman, Scowan, and one from Carbonero. Chong and Sikan both off the bench, which is lovely. Let's get them leveled up a bit more as well. Get some more training underway. Let's get Cueto up as quickly as we can. Uh, Vajnaman getting some more stats up that he's defending as well. We're just trying to get the team up to a point where they're going to be good enough to be playing, aren't they, first team? Rotherham, we'll stick with the same team. It's winning us pretty well, isn't it? So don't want to change too much at this point in time. 2-0 loss. Ooh, that's not nice. Not nice at all. Hmm. Still third in the league, though. Game against Bolton Wanderers upcoming. Bolton should be an easy one. They've not had a very good time, Bolton, have they? They had no players beginning this season. But they still managed to beat us. Oh. The form's not looking good, is it? Right, youth scouts are back from Norway. We have some terrible players. Okay, keep scouting, I suppose. From Turkey. We have potentially... So you could be up to 78. So I'm going to take you 58 to 78. I mean, you're not going to be that good. I know that. But um, I'm going to take you just for your current ability. We'll keep scouting the rest. And finally from England. Again, we'll just keep scouting for now. But that took... So he was 58 to 78. I mean, if he is like high 60s, early 70s... Then even if he's not that great, it doesn't really matter. We can still use him. He's 65. You know what? Let's take him up. He's 65. He's uh, We'll take him. He's not bad at all. I mean, I'd rather use him. Let's have a look and see how good he actually is. As we um, come into this screen, let's go rating um, 65. Uh, so he hasn't got a great potential. He's less than 80 his potential. But it's a player that's in the squad. He's useful and he has a value now that we can probably sell on. Uh, let's do a bit more training. We need to get these players leveled up because we are struggling at the moment, aren't we? So Vajna Man getting close to that 68 is ready. Is ready? Already. He's only just gone up to 67 not too long ago. MK Don's now coming up on the 28th. For a nice time to rest. We dropped down to 5th position in the league though, which is not ideal. Come on. Come on, lads. Come on. It's another loss. It's another freaking loss. That's three losses in a row now. I hope we're not going to get sacked here. I hope we're not going to get sacked. So Vajnaman is injured. Um, I'm going to start leveling this guy up. Why not? I don't know, we might be able to make a good player out of him. Uh, Kuto up to a 53. Now we're about to start a new month now though, so we should hopefully get some stat upgrades. Uh, youth squad report. What we've got is a goalkeeper, 72 to 88. It's not great, is it really? Normally I wouldn't even keep him to be honest, but um, not a lot of different options is there. Anyone else got up a point? So Carbonero 68. Um, Vajnaman 68. Maybe in the bench who's gone up one. Um, Sikhan 64. 
Yeah, almost 65. He was already 65, wasn't he? Kuto, 53 already as well. Okay, it's not ideal at this point in time, is it? It's been a pretty bad run for us. Vajna Man's out injured. I don't know how long that injury is going to be. Please don't be too long. Please don't be a long injury. Nine days, okay. Okay, that should be fine then, to be honest. We've got Lincoln coming up. We beat Lincoln in the cup already this season, so hopefully we can beat him in the league as well. Have I gone too far? I've gone too far, haven't I? I've, this should be the end of the video. We'll do this match then. This is the end of the video, isn't it? I just realised I've gone too far. Uh, fix problem myself. Um, let's then switch Brandon Williams across to left or to right back or left back even, and then a Nian can come in to play in that right back position. Are you on the bench? You are on the bench. Okay. So let's do that, and hopefully we can get out of this uh, losing streak we're on. It's been a bit of a tough start, hasn't it? Really. I've done it already. Oh, I left him on the bench. <sighs> um, don't really matter, does it? Let's just throw a lead better on there. I feel like the second part of the season should be better for us. Let's go. Come on. They've lost three in a row as of we. This is our chance to turn it around. 2 1 win. Goals from Williams and De La Vega. There we go, then we'll call that it for this episode. Of course, next time we'll be back and we will go through the whole of October, November, all the way to the end of the year. And of course, if you have enjoyed this one, please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you would like to see some more. I'll be back in a few days' time for some more of the Sunderland Return to Glory slash the Mac and Makeover. Bye. <laughs>